one. It's uh, I'm not too sure what the time is. 11:51. I just had to. I was looking at the clock on my wall, my central heating clock, but uh, I've not put that back yet. I keep forgetting to do it. Anyway, so it's 11:51. So it's technically still Monday for about nine minutes. <laughs> anyway. This video card belongs to a friend of mine and he said it was playing up on his machine. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it into this motherboard and we'll see if it's his system that doesn't like the video card or if it's the actual video card itself that's uh, playing up. If you're wondering what I was, I'm doing, I'm looking for something to perhaps sit that motherboard on, but it ain't going to work. What I would like, <coughs> excuse me, I know you can buy them, you can buy um, what they call like the test rigs to um, set motherboards on. You can just screw them in and screw power supply in and whatnot. I might look into buying them if they're going to be more than what I can spare. <laughs> I might make myself a little bench, test bench. That's it, that's what they call them, a test bench. Anyway, I can do it like this. It's not going to harm because there's no static on this surface. But the problem is, when I want to test things like that, I've got to hang it over the edge, like so. Because this bit is lower than the motherboard. So if I sit it like that, the weight of it is going to push down and it could cause damage. I just did it, see? That could cause damage, especially if it does it while it's powered up. Swing you this way a bit. Right. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to connect the mouse up because I've not got an OS. I just want to see if this will actually work. And if it has got a problem, if it's going to, you know, show what the problem is. So, power that up. Uh, are we on? Monitor's on. I've just got two gig RAM sticks sitting in there for now. Have I got the switch on the right thing? Oh, I have. First time. So... On DVI we don't seem to have a signal, but I'll get my new up. Oh there we go. Well that seems to be working. I don't know if you can see that on camera or have I got to move it? No, you can see it. Um at the moment it's working. But he said when it was on a system and booted up, I need to build a system, I think, to test this properly. Because at the moment, I'm not seeing any thing on that screen to indicate that there's an issue with this. The fan's working. Let's just shut it off and I'll try on the VGA section. Just make sure the VGA side of it is uh, functioning. Because that's what I like about this monitor, it's got a socket for each, so I just left one of each cable connected to it. So if I want to swap, I just grab the cables like this and swap. Just turn that back on and stand back, see if it does anything. It's booting. I've got to press buttons again. If I remember rightly, I don't think this monitor switches automatically. I'm not doing any sort of buttons aren't even bloody working. I'm plugged in, yeah, I'm all plugged in at the back properly. <laughs> hmm. 
Number two, digital input. That's not getting anything. I want number one. There we go. I've only done that because I kept leaning on the keyboard. Right, so. VGA and DVI are outputting. Hmm. That's actually good because I can see all the way down that this, the card is actually outputting properly. Yeah, I think what I need to do... I'm just trying to think if I've got a computer already built up that I can just... Actually, I have. Don't know if I'll do that in this video, but at some point I'll put this in one of my other machines and... Uh, I'll have to run some tests and put this under load to see if it will fail. <laughs> if it doesn't, and it works absolutely fine... See, I haven't got a hard drive, I don't think. I could just build up a temporary rig here just to test it. Oh, I do have laptop hard drives. That'll do for this. That's a job for another video, then. But for now, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take that off. Uh, I'm going to plug all of this. Oh. These 24 pin connectors can be such an arse to unplug. That doesn't want to come off. Come on. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take that off as well. And sit over here for the time being. I want to build a DDR2 system with that motherboard, but I haven't got a hard drive at the minute. Right. That's the RAM I was using in it. It's the one with the um, red eyes that light up. I haven't used it in any of my other computers because they don't have transparent panels, so I just see it as a waste sticking them in. You know, as you can't see them. Yeah. And my main PC through there in the lounge is DDR3, so that's not a lot of use. <laughs> right. I want to see if this thing's going to play ball. Because to be honest, if I can get this thing to play ball and actually work, I would have a big ass monitor right here, wouldn't I? <laughs> It's a bit too big, but I've just sat and they said I sat the computer on the lid. It's a funky looking computer. Right. So unplug that. I don't know why I unplugged that. I could have plugged that in at the extension socket, but never mind. Plug that in. Whoop. Don't you frickin' move. Right. Is you or is you not going to work? Because I was throwing up some sort of screen issue last time. I've got the power thing working. Yeah, there we go. Look, I've got no um, picture now. Apart from some blue at the top there. <laughs> Which is slowly reappearing. Um, that could be a number of things to be honest could be the panel itself has gone there could still be a bit of a power issue because this was working this turned on absolutely fine when I first fixed the power supply and then all of a sudden it did this when I had it on so I don't know if I don't know if um, something is still wrong on the power supply or what, but either way, we've got to take the back cover off. I'm going to unplug it because I gave myself an electric shock at Mum's the other day. I <laughs> I took an extension lead <clears throat> apart 
because I had a problem with the um, plug going into the socket end of it and uh, <laughs> I forgot to unplug it. <laughs> it wasn't nothing serious, I literally got a tingle through that finger, just a very slight tingle, it was like sticking my tongue on a battery actually. On one of them 6 volt batteries or a 9 volt battery, that's what it felt like. And because I also was holding the screwdriver which touched it, so I got a tingle in the other hand as well. That's literally that's all it was, just a bit of a tingle. But then again, I wasn't grounded, I was on a um, wooden floor, thank fudge. So, uh, yeah, note to self, make sure it's unplugged before you work on anything. <laughs> As not to get electric shocks, because that could have been a whole lot worse. What I could do with is a little pot, really, to put these screws in. One, so I don't lose them, and two, so I know these ones are the casing screws, the cover screws. And this has actually got quite a few. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I might have a bit of a cold coming on again. You know, that my sinus is just like playing up late. I'm going to move you back a bit because I can see me whacking into the camera. It's not the best of year in the world because the fridge is in the way, but I don't have a great deal of room, unfortunately. Next year, I want to replace this for two um, under cabinet ones. So I have a separate fridge and a separate freezer under cabinet because I'll put one. Where's my cabinet? One just where that gap is under there, and one probably where this fridge is. That'll um, free up some space here and make things a bit easier. Yeah. I used to think that flat screen TVs were a lot lighter than CRT TVs. Wrong. I suppose they had to. Especially when hanging them on the wall, they had to reinforce the back, so that's added a fair bit of weight. I mean, to be honest, that little monitor is um, quite heavy. Nope, there it is. I think I've got one more up the other side. Because <clears throat> we've got the actual stand mounts there. I think Mum's still got the stand for this. I think it's up in the attic. The problem is we don't have a ladder to get in the attic anymore. We borrowed it off of a friend of mine and obviously he took it back when we uh, were done with it. So, uh, always get you with a couple of screws, don't I? I got a funny feeling. I did get that one, didn't I? Yeah, I've got all of those, so it's got to be you toss pot. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I've got a smaller one here. I'm sure they do that deliberately as well, just to pee off people like me. You know, we'll have two different sized screws on the back. No, in theory, I should... There we go. Well, I'm not seeing any obvious signs, not yet. This is the only board I've had out. And I think... Screen driver board is this one here from the looks of it. So we've got power. Don't worry, I didn't give myself a shock, I got myself on something sharp. 
So we've got power. That does look remarkably like the screen board. And this looks like your, um, you know, your TV in your skirt, your RCA jacks, bloody blah blah. But anyway, I just need to pause for a minute. Is that a slightly better angle? Well, as you can see, I'm back. <laughs> oh. Just had to take a quick bathroom break. Right. So. The um, capacitors I replaced are looking A-OK. -okay. I believe it was that one. And that one. I think there's two the same, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. That's it, there was these two. Yep, just looking okay. The ones I didn't replace are looking fine. I can't see nothing obvious. Pretty certain it's not this. That's the issue. Although it might be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to heat my soldering iron up. Because this one actually feels a bit loose. I'm going to heat the new soldering iron up. What's the betting if I plug it in over there? Actually, I can't plug it in over there. I need a bigger kitchen. Can I get this off out of the way? Can I just... Yeah. I think before I reassemble it this time, I'm going to clean it as well. Assholes to it. Right. Let's make a bit of room. I wasn't actually planning to get the soldering iron out, but... I keep forgetting that the spare soldering tips and whatnot are loose in here. So I have just got smacked in the head by two rolls of solder and a soldering iron tip. I'm not kidding. They all fell out and just smacked me straight in the head. <laughs> I'm going to pick them up. Ooh. I don't want to lose the um, spare soldering arm bit. Right. While that is heating up, we'll have out the uh, power supply. And I think before I actually do anything, I'll discharge that big ass cap right in the middle. <laughs> Let's get power cable off. Let's get that one off. So you can't go wrong with the plugs on here. The power supply board only goes in one way and, well, these will only reach one connector and there is, well, they've used a different type of connector for each, so I think I'm going to need my small one. But halfway there with the soldering iron heating up. This does take a few, well I'll probably say this takes about a minute to get up to temperature. Since some um, YouTuber, YouTubers, I should say, whose irons uh, heat up much faster, but then again, their irons are much more expensive than this one. But I'll tell you what, for a little less than £20, that's not a bad bloody iron at all. Great for the hobbyist like this. Anyway, I was actually thinking when I was in the bathroom, you know, that I can't do much in the way of diagnostics because I don't have the equipment. Um, draw your contacts. Are you, or are you not still bloody charged? No, nope, you're good. <laughs> Because that one would probably give me quite a zinger. I think I'm just going to reflow these two cap connectors up here. Because that one especially doesn't look too good. I've got another one there which is in at an angle because it's a little bit too big. This one right here is loose. So it might be an issue with this. Right, well, we are up to temperature.
Maybe I just didn't solder it in properly. Because I'm a duh. Solder the one I've already just done. Do this in not so still loose in there. Why? Still bloody wobbling around in there. It's not as bad as it was, but I'm really not sure why that one is wobbling around, to be honest. I'm just going to redo these ones. Just reflow. That's not good either. I might be why it's not heating up very well. There we go. <laughs> the tip had spun screwed. Load. Ooh, they look miles better now. Miles better. Right, so still this one that's giving me issues. Have I got to heat it for long enough? Has that got to flow through? The circuit board sort of thing. One leg to stop wobbling. That's better. I wonder if that's what the problem was. Shall I stick this back in and we'll have a look see? Turn the soldering iron off just yet, just in case. But uh, I'm going to put the screws in. No, I'm not. I'm going to get stuck to my finger. Should we try that again? I'm going to put the screws in. Tell you what, I'll be pretty darn chuffed if this does not work. like there's some ground points here as well because there's 
metal contact on this one as well. On that one, that one and this one, but not the third one. So I'm guessing I need these three in at least. I'm going to worry about that third one because like I said there's no earth contact. It just looks like it's these three that have got an earth contact on them. Plug that in. Plug that in. Plug the main supply in. Plug that. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually going to have to unplug the soldering iron aren't I? Let's uh, Let's just do that. Stand this up. What do I do with the remote? I'm getting in the way now, aren't I? See if that actually fixed anything. Nope, we've still got that problem there. Something on here was making a noise. If in doubt, just smack various things, you know, that might do something. Better not make too much noise at this time of night, though. It's got some decent sized speakers in the bottom of this. I'll definitely have those out of here if, they, if this TV is beyond repair. I've actually got... Uh, my old one I had to take apart as well. What's this for? It'd be bloody funny if that now worked, wouldn't it? Now that I've just gone around banging on everything. Come on, but still, moth green. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Hello. find the cable that actually goes to the screen to drive it. Hmm. That's interesting as well. I just noticed that there's another loose cap there. It feels loose anyway. Right. So I wouldn't be at all surprised, you know, with the sort of heat that's generated from these. That uh, it may have loosened a few other solder joints. Look. 
I am going to quickly short out that cap. Right, that's good. That all seems fine. Well, I've been this far, I might as well go full whack. You know, I can't break it any well I could break it even more, but it's already broken, so actually I just realised this is the um screen backlight driver. That's what this is. It only seems to have two backlights. So it's got one cable there and one there. So that basically means that the issue's got to be on here somewhere, because that's the only other circuit board. No idea what they're for. Yeah, here we go. There's the ribbon cable that drives the screen. So that could be as simple as a bit of dirt. Got them in here. Very technical cleaning. Mm. <laughs> right. Let's just take this off the back. This has got the exact same connector on it, believe it or not, as my old PC monitor. Okay, so I'm not going to put that tin cover back on that yet, but pretty certain the issue is not with this anymore. So I'm going to put this back in and leave it in on account of I don't really need to take it out anymore. Ready to try again. Thank you. It's actually scary because you can hear the cap, the capacitors charging up. And he let this time. No! Oh! Something's better, isn't it? It's uh, showing a blue screen this time. What happens? I'm just displaying the TV thing in the corner now. That scrolling has just stopped. 
stopped. Let's turn it off. Turn it back on again. On. Thank you. Poxy thing. Batteries might be getting a bit flat in this remote to be honest. Right. There is still a very slight issue there. But I got some of them. There might even still be a bit of a bet you it's that screen cable. I bet that's what it is. I bet because of all the dust and crap that's been stored up in here. When I last had it open, I bet a bit got in to that cable. The only one I didn't get off to properly have a look at was this end. Shut up, it's unnerving when that makes that high pitched squeal. Because it's like, I'm just going to go bang, don't go bang, please. Let's give them that blow out as well. Could even be just a bit of dust on here causing a short. You never know, because sometimes dirt can actually be conductive. And this cable is actually being an utter ass to get off. Hmm, what if I can find a toothbrush or something? Just to get in there. I need something really, really tiny, really. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea or not, but probably not. That's why I won't go in because I'd close the blade. Right. What I want off, I'll just peel that off for a minute. There we go. Pig to get off, pig to get on. tonight though. <laughs> Brilliant! That's, oh, I bet that's what it was. I bet there was a bit of shit in that ribbon cable. Right on this one. Or it could have been this end actually on the actual screen end. Come to think of it. Actually you know what? I'm just going to forget if I don't do it so. Oh sugar. I didn't realise all the screws were still in this. managed to fix my old monitor but I'm not too fussed about that because I've been wanting a new one for a while anyway. I wonder if I can magnetise the end of this, that's going to make life a bit easier. That's why I keep old hard drive magnets for because they are brilliant for magnetising screwdrivers. use this one because it is magnetic 
to drop the screws into place. Then use this one to do set screws up. How many screwdrivers does it take to fix a TV? A couple in this case. <laughs> what this is. It must be some sort of uh, shielding. So that's in, that's in, that's in. All that's left is actually just to put the cover on but I'm not actually going to get that far. I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to this look fluff all over my shirt. Um, just because I actually want to get in here and uh, clean it out. But uh, I will also add, and uh, no, I'm not getting on, wasn't asked to do this, but it's another channel I am enjoying watching. It's called My Mate Vince. And he's uh, more or less doing what I just did. He fixes things, or has a go at least, at fixing things himself. Sometimes he fails, sometimes he doesn't, just like me. But uh, he gives a crack, at least. Um, although I will say his knowledge is probably less than mine. Or, well, actually, I actually haven't said that. I've watched him for a while and he's fixed no end of various different things. So, I've got screwed to go in there, haven't I? I forgot about that. I've got the other ends, um, other corner screws to go in. Why do I keep doing that? I know the screwdriver is not magnetic. There we go. So that's all in. I could use this as a PC monitor. Although, having said that, don't... No. On second thoughts, I couldn't, because this doesn't actually have a VGA or anything on it, or DVI, unfortunately. Although, I could swap it for the one that's in the bedroom, if I can get a stand for this. Because uh, the one in the bedroom does have the connections that I want, I think. I will double check that later. Yeah, but this has just got, well, your usual RCA jacks, your TV in. Because uh, this has built-in free view. And on the side there, it's got some more RCA jacks and, all like, possibly a headphone jack. It's also got optical, it's got two HDMI sockets. So, sweet, I'm actually happy I fixed it. <laughs> What's the betting though? I'll leave it here like this overnight and I'll come back in the morning and plug it in. That won't work, but I'm going to try it anyway. So, uh, I hope you like this video. I've still got more to do with that video card, but I can do that in another video. I think this one's uh, dragged on for uh, far too long. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.